Cristiano Ronaldo proposed that he take over as skipper of Manchester United from Harry Maguire. After the Portuguese player criticized the club's leadership and manager Eric Ten Hag in a television interview with Piers Morgan in November 2022, he ultimately decided to terminate his contract with Manchester United and play for another team. In addition, Ronaldo cast doubt on the experience and qualifications of Ralph Rangnick, who served as United's temporary manager prior to the entrance of Ten Hag in the summer of 2017. According to ESPN, Ronaldo requested that Rangnick give him the captain's insignia in the second half of the 2021-22 season rather than giving it to Maguire, but the German coach declined to accede to Ronaldo's desires. Maguire was the player who wore the armband. Since joining Manchester United from Leicester City in a move that broke the previous record by £80 million in 2019, Maguire has been the target of a lot of criticism. Six months after making his debut, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer appointed him skipper of the team. However, he has struggled to meet the expectations of the position since taking it on. After being mocked on social media for sharing messages of remorse during the club's unsuccessful run from the previous season, he was given the advice to abstain from using these platforms entirely. Maguire may still be the club skipper, but he is now second in the standing order for the group behind Rafael Verani. Ten Hag continues to retain Maguire in that role. United's head coach chooses to combine a right-footed defender with a left-footed defender in the center of his defense. Summer acquisition Lissandro Martinez slots in alongside Verney in this role in the United defense. According to a report by ESPN, the coaching staff for United are concerned about Maguire's propensity to race out of his position to win collisions and his inability to cover territory. Both of these issues are mentioned in the report. They are satisfied with his abilities on the ball, however, and he will continue to wear the armband until at least the end of the season. The centre-back will be hoping that Ten Hag will give him an opportunity to play against Newcastle United on Saturday. In the meantime, Ronaldo will make his return to action with Al Nasser on Tuesday when they take on Al Adela in the Saudi Pro League. Cafu, who captained Brazil to victory at the 2002 FIFA World Cup, plays right back for Al Nasser. The two defenders in the centre of the field are the German mainstay Franz Beckenbauer and the Italian legend Franco Bersi. Paolo Maldini plays on the left side of the defense for the squad. Zinedine Zidane, who won the FIFA World Cup in 1998, is playing in the middle of the field alongside other legendary players such as Johan Cruyff and Diego Maradona. Pele, a three-time champion of the FIFA World Cup who passed away not too long ago, is positioned in offense alongside current-day greats Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. The artificial intelligence platform also designated the greatest five-a-side squad in the history of the game. According to ChatGPT, the top five players are Beckenbauer, Zidane, Messi, Ronaldinho, and Ronaldo. In recent years, Andrew Tate has emerged as one of the most well-known personalities in the world of digital media. The argument between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi is currently the most contentious issue in the sport of football, so the former world kickboxing champion was asked for his opinion on the matter. Tate has stated in the past that he does not watch football, despite the fact that he is presently detained in Romania on charges of alleged sexual exploitation. He said, 